Hello YouTube, thank you for joining my videos. Um, just want to talk to you today about my plants I've uh, got growing in my tubs. And um, they're only young plants and they're getting eaten up by snails, slugs at night time. And uh, got an idea to get rid of that uh, problem. So please watch more for information. Okay, so I've got um, some wire, some garden wire. This is, uh, got this for about a pound from all this ages ago. And a six volt battery, uh, rechargeable battery. The idea is I'm going to um, use this wire as like an electric fence to stop the um, snail slugs from getting on my plants and eating them up and destroying them. So I'll tell you how I'm going to do that now. So the uh, first thing you want to do is make sure you've got a decent battery. Uh, set it to um, volts. Make sure you've got plenty of charge in that, which we have uh, plenty of that, 6.37 volts. Um, obviously the battery power is required to um, deter these snails, slugs from getting on your plants. So the next thing you need to do is the wire you're using, make sure it's not got a coating on it. Uh, get your multimeter, set it to ohm setting for resistance setting. Touch the wires and see what your, your reading is. We're getting no resistance at all in that, uh, in that wire I'm using, so that's pretty good. No problem at all with that. So uh, next step is to um, find a suitable nail. I'm going to use some of these nails here. These are like uh, one half inch straightforward nails. Nothing special about them really. Again, you want to check the um, resistance of those. So connect your multimeter to the ohms to make sure that they are going to be suitable. Yep, that's uh, hardly any resistance there at all with that nail as well. Perfect. Okay, so uh, once you've got your nails all sorted out, we're going to put uh, a nail, two, two rows, one nail next to each other, channeling down all the way around the, um, the, 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 the top box itself and then we'll attach our wires after that. So I've um, placed the nails on the outside so far for the first wire, every sort of foot or so uh, around the edge. So I'm going to wrap one wire around the perimeter of that for now and do the second lot in a minute. Okay, so I wrap the first wire around the first nail and I'll bring the wire down to the next nail, keeping it as flat and close to the bottom as you can. So there's one wrap around that and so on, so on, so on. All the way around, keeping it as straight as you can. So that's the first wire completed. I've got all the way around, wrapped it around the nail just the once to keep it in place flat as you can to the tub all the way around and then when you come to the very end of it you just wrap it around the one where you started and leave a bit at the end for connection to the battery okay so once you've got your wires all together I mean I'm gonna tell, make this a bit flatter in a minute but they're in the right sort of area um, make sure you no wires are touching each other completely that looks like it is it's not there look. Okay, so it's not touching anywhere, and to test that, get your multimeter, go to continuity test range, and make a connection to two of the wires anywhere along the circuit. So I've got one on that wire there, I'm going to test this one here, and there should be no reading whatsoever. If I put on the same circuit, I'll get a reading, that means that, that is a connection. But that's on the same circuit now. However, on the different wires, there is no connection whatsoever. Otherwise, if there's a connection with the battery, there could be a problem with the battery exploding uh, if you uh, wire it up wrong. Okay, you're also going to need to get some uh, wire casing from some old bits of wire, which I took out the bits that were in there originally, and slot them over your, um, your two terminal wires, it's just in case they do touch each other. It just protects them from uh, short circuiting so if they touch each other, you see. Uh, that protects the circuit. You also want to get yourself a suitable container for your battery to go into with a waterproof lid. So my battery will fit in the box like that on its side and it will then be nice and covered over against any rain getting into it. Okay, so the um, battery's uh, all in place, wired up to the circuit. And I've got my, t my uh, test terminals on each wire, set to voltage setting, so just making sure I'm getting a reading through. 6.37 volts through the whole circuit. So this, uh, these, live, these wires are now live. Should a snail or slug come across them, 
they will um, be discomforted by the shock and they will back off and walk and uh, not walk away but s slip away hopefully so we'll just get some snails and see how they get on with it Don't, don't, don't.